Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, along with the is uh, diagonal uh, A, C. And moreover, this uh, line segment uh, E, B makes an angle of 55 uh, degrees. This line segment uh, D, F uh, makes an angle of uh, X. And finally, this uh, line segment uh, D, G and this uh, diagonal uh, AC make an angle of uh, 115 degrees. And now our task is to calculate the angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that this uh, AC is the diagonal of this uh, square. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, is going to be 45 uh, degrees and this angle has got to be 45 uh, degrees uh, as well. And furthermore, we know that this uh, side length uh, AD of this square must be equal to this side length uh, AB. That means uh, these two side lengths uh, are uh, equal. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, green shaded uh, as well as uh, this uh, blue shaded uh, triangles. Then we can see that this uh, blue triangle uh, ADF uh, is congruent to this uh, green uh, triangle ABF uh, according to side angle uh, side congruency theorem. As we can see this angle is 45 degrees. Uh, this angle is 45 uh, degrees as well. These uh, two side lengths uh, are uh, equal and this is our common uh, side. So therefore we conclude that if these uh, two triangles are congruent uh, then this angle X uh, has got to be this angle uh, X uh, as well. In other words uh, this angle uh, ABF uh, this angle is equal to this angle uh, ADF. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABE. And now let's recall the uh, triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, the sum of these uh, three angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down angle X plus 90 degree angle plus 55 degrees equals to 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. So we got X plus 145 degrees equals to 180 degrees. And now let's go ahead and subtract 145 degrees from both sides to isolate x, we can see that this cancels out. So therefore, our angle x turns out to be 35 degrees. Now let's focus on this 115 degrees. We did not use it. It is just redundant. So thus our angle x turns out to be 35 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.